win. We've got a chance. Lose. Probably over this year. Folks, welcome back to the Glory Hunter. It's the weekend special. Do you know what, viewers? Old time's sake, Glory Hunter, isn't it? Why not? You know, fill in the blank. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what, what, what who have we got. Hang on, Alfonso. I thought no, it's, it's not the same. If we get a player called Diego, it comes back. Can you believe that was two years ago? Over two years ago, where the time go? Right then, let's delve in to today. As you can see, we've got Arsenal tomorrow. Before we do that, we've got a team meeting. Of course, today is the big game versus Arsenal. We are four points behind. It's quite a long way to be behind, viewers. If you if you get what I'm saying. Um, but if we win this, we'll obviously go a point behind and put immense pressure on with five games to go. It's a it's a win it and have a chance or lose it. And as I say, then the gap becomes. Un un uncatchable, I would say. Seven points to me, probably too much. Um, Odegaard for them and Immobile for them are absolutely unbelievable. The pair of them are immense. Two players that would probably get in my team. That's how good they are. Um, Immobile as well. 37 years of age, probably the best 37 year old you're going to see around on FM. Uh, Ronaldo obviously was pretty good at, at a similar age, but yeah, absolutely ridiculous. 15 pace at 37. What on earth? A goal scoring machine for Arsenal. Uh, actually, I'll say that not so much last year, but you can see how good he was at Lazio. They got him for an absolute snip, and now at 7.54, 24 in 25. Unbelievable. So. Uh, team wise what we're going to do actually we've got over four team wise we've got a meeting which i thought we'd do with you here about the team's title chances now i'm not going to ease expectations no 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 we're liverpool we're in a position that we should fight for this so let's say look i expect us to win the league title and this match could go a long way to proving that and they all agreed casado maybe not so sure but um the rest of them seem relatively confident right then let's move forward then towards this game uh, you've just seen it there, I think. Luis Diaz will be unavailable. As here's some of the kids coming through. The youth prospects are... I mean, he's quite good, considering he's 16 years of age, but his potential is pretty limited. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I mean, right now he's not too bad, which is kind of funny. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get them signed up, you know, get them in the academy. Why not? But again... again these type of games don't come around that often in a league season. You have them early in the year and you think, will this be a factor later on? Of course, the last league game you saw us play was that game against uh, Manchester City, which we lost. We've beat West Brom since then, so we stay competitive. But we know the run-in for Arsenal is significantly softer than the run-in for ourselves. I think we played Chelsea final day, which, again, never easy, unless you're Norwich. Um, so here we go, then. Let's see. I, I, I'm away from home as well. System-wise, obviously, you've toyed with a couple, haven't we? You've played the 4-2-2-2 system. We've played the 4-3-3, the more conventional 4-3-3. I mean, going to this game... And I'm not too sure, right? We could play... There's, there, we've got quite a, quite a lot of options. I think going into next year, we're going to have to have a serious conversation about the way in which the team is built and looks. And I think there's going to be a bit more of a rebuild, right? We've got £72 million to spend and potentially options if, if, if we fancy it. I'm, I'm thinking... Not that I, I don't think we'll play it right, but we could go to some sort of diving system. You could go to a three at the top. Again, you could drop the player back in there. You could play something a little bit more expansive with the wing backs. Maybe bring in another centre back and play a three. Obviously, Van Dijk's going. Will that impact how we play? There's, there's definitely conversations to be had. Uh, as things are right now, of course... We've got Haaland as that pressing forward, which I do like to play him as, and based upon how many goals he scored this year, just the 50 and 37 starts, I think we can afford to leave him there. Uh, but it's these forward areas we've had a few issues with. Harvey Elliott has been a man out of form, but having been dropped recently, this might be the game we bring him back in. Um, and him on, him on the right then, on the left-hand side, I think sticking with Mane for now, probably the right move. But we're going to play quite attacking. Again, away from home in this one. We're not going to counter uh, press quite as much. We're going to look to regroup. I know it's not very Liverpool to do this. Look to regroup and hit them on the counter-attack away from home. Try and be a little bit more sensible uh, in possession at the same time. But then when, we're with, when we've got the ball, let's make the most of it. Um, yeah, I think I think that's the, that's the way we're going to play. It's, again, slightly different, but it still gives us a good chance of success, I think. The rest of the lineup pretty much picks itself at, this, itself at this point. I'm a little bit unsure on the Fabinho anchor man. Again, you can play him in a, a number of roles, and we've changed Alfonso back to a deeper-lying playmaker. I think he was... 
a little too advanced and again as the as, a, as the away side here i want us to be set pretty nicely sort of as a back seven and then you know explode when we get the ball in, in attacking positions and alfonso releasing the players ahead of him is going to be crucial to that um width comes from the fullbacks then again cutting aside elliot and Mane need to be helping uh, Haaland as much as possible i realize if we're not pressing as much and we're looking to regroup having Haaland as an advanced forward today probably better um as much as i think he's good at pressing forward he's good at all of the roles so it doesn't really matter it's erling Haaland, viewers he can do everything right here we go then it's a one-off game versus arsenal if we win it we are in with a chance if we lose it then it might be done traditionally it's arsenal this year in football manager i found them especially later in the future i found them extremely difficult to deal with they keep a lot of the players that are there right now and the way in which they play the way in which they knock the ball around incredibly difficult to stop um yeah they become a right force this time around uh, mariba as well an excellent player benson cure as well really really good then you look at the players around them nabry's back there as well uh gabriel tierney um tommy asu ramsdale again keeping a lot of the core i think smith rose still there as well as a few others right saka probably there as well so let's see we're in the we're in the yellow kit the away kit as uh, we, we pass the ball out really nicely to Virgil van Dijk and I'd be interested to see how we do build these attacks and how much Alfonso in the middle plays a part as Ramsdale leaps for glory there as he just about gets the ball under his control and straight out to Tommy Asu as they now race forward on this side Odegaard such a good player I think he's in the dream 11 as well like the media dream 11 that's how good he is amongst so many good players in this league especially in that position Tommy Asu plays in a mobile and oh my goodness me Becker Allison keeps it out the Allison Becker if we set correctly a mobile with a really good chance but a brilliant save and uh, we can see here Arsenal back on it. Alfonso, though, with that 20 passing, finds Mane. And uh, now he's bringing the ball forward. Oh, skips past his man and then releases the ball up towards Haaland, who's knocked down to Robertson. He's excellent. You can see this is where our width comes from now. It's Mane back towards Haaland. Flicks it on for Elliot. I think he's offside. It's quite nicely worked. The awareness of Haaland. I, get, I don't really care if he's offside. The awareness to get Elliot a chance there to flick that ball on is outrageous we'll see if they're given it i don't think they will no disallowed a marginal offside call and uh yeah it's gonna be ruled out but again the, the flick from harland's here just knows where his friend is blimey it's very very close as well with that left back and there's harvey elliott to uh to poke home but never mind good good to see us actually you know create something it's the only thing we've created so far in the game it's been very very passive but a corner harland will be on this and heads just over i've done it before viewers i'm going to do it again i do like harland there he's an absolute weapon but um i'm going to put virgil on them instead left center back isn't it sorry as we do this on both sides this near post corner i find this year is still really effective not as effective as it was when football manager first released but still very very good as odegaard now with a chance they're playing it into the center headed away by virgil van dyke and odegaard back on it again finds soleil who goes back to bentecure who plays it to a come pass and allison again has to make a good save and does and it might be a case if we can counter again we are looking for it when possible but i'm also happy that we've got our shape but he launches a ball out towards Mane, who flicks it down and nabry's going to be on this and robertson slightly out of position as we were trying to maybe start something of our own it was a little bit of a risky ball by allison in actual fact playing it up towards Mane as there's odegaard to slam home now what was a player in front of allison that's the i think that's the question that's been asked here everyone else was absolutely on it's a case of was their defender the wrong side oh sorry was our defender the wrong side no he wasn't i guess we'll see it again it might knowing foot manager it wasn't close at all i think it's odegaard who was potentially in the way oh i mean as the shot goes in he's definitely not offside but as the ball's played back to mobley it's a little bit close again the referee wasn't sure but arsenal take the lead and now they've got a corner almost immediately of course we're coming off the back oh my god two nil this is very similar to what happened. I mean, there were two stunning goals against United, but very similar to what happened in the game against United. We just weren't up for the challenge, it feels like. And I'm questioning now whether coming away from that 4 triple two was the right thing to do. Again, we stopped pressing quite so much, and that's purely because of their ability to keep the ball. I didn't think it'd be worth it, frankly. It's Harvey Elliott. First time we're seeing him really involved as the ball back to Trent. Options in the center. Casado. Somehow comes to Harvey Elliott. I don't know how it happened. Trent again on that right-hand side. Plays the ball in. Mane. Well, a chance. 2-1. Brilliant volley from Sadio Mane. Excellent cross from Trent Alexander-Arnold. And 2-1 uh, as we're going to get towards half-time. 
where you might be in this. We might just be in this. We're going to need to win it, remember, to give ourselves a real shot, a real shot at this. But um, it's a great finish for Mane. As that, I think, will get us to half time. It will. Right. It's been pretty mundane, hasn't it? Show me something else in the second half. And tactically, should we show them something else as well? I am fearful of playing super attacking, super high pressing, but. On the counter, I think giving ourselves more options might be the way forward. I might take Fabinho off for Nunes. I th I, and again, if you, if you if you stylistically play the same way, you know, pressing forward and uh, advance forward again, sw switching it around for what it normally is, I'm just wondering if you st if you should counter press in this system, or if you're drawing players out, are you leaving the middle two really exposed? I don't think that's what we want to do. Let's just put it to the fullbacks more. Let's let's distribute it quicker as well, if possible, and not limit it to just being rolled out by by Alisson either. Let's see if we can if we can move it quickly. Let's move it quickly. The line's already pretty high. A Mobley, while quick, is as quick as Skriniar and Van Dijk, so we can probably take that risk there. Um, let's get stuck in a little bit more. Do, do you know what? Without without pressing, let's you know if, if there's a challenge there to be won, let's make sure we're taking that gamble a little bit and winning that ball back. Sometimes it will still be higher up the pitch without pressing. We're trying to find a blend here. Hopefully it pays off. A Campos on this left hand side straight away plays it back. Bentecure, he's gone for it. It's hit the chest of the defender. Blimey. And Allison does really well. My arms just went up there. I didn't know what I was doing myself. I just sort of panicked. Uh Mane, can you flick it on? He can't. We're playing this ball out to Mane pretty unsuccessfully. Nunes and Haaland now. Two massive targets to aim for. And Mobley's been pushed out to that right hand side. Pulls it back. A Campos. Oh, it's just good football from Arsenal. I want to be critical of so many things, but I think it's just good work. It's good hold up play from Mobley. It's smart decision making. You can see there, that ball from Nabry is so good. I didn't really like. I didn't really notice at the time. But that cross, you think how many players are in theory in the way? A Campos with a great finish. 3-1 down. Oh, we need to take more gambles. Hence, we brought Nunes on for Fabinho, but uh, you just don't know, do you? We need again. We need to score three now. Otherwise, the league campaign looks like it's going to wait for another year. Is Mane? Can he give us another chance in the game? He can. Okay. I don't know. Darwin Nunes comes on, gets an assist. Mane gets his second goal of the game. If we were two 0 down, I'd be saying there's still a still a bit of hope. Or one 0 down, I'd be saying we could still turn it around. So. I guess we'll look at it positively. Good hold-up play from Haaland. Lovely pass from, uh, from Darwin Nunes. And Sadio Mane makes it 3-2. I'm going to keep things as they are for now. Again, I think... Oh, do, I, do I give their goal? How much credit am I giving it? It was really well worked. They're, they're obviously a threat. As Alfonso now, the playmaker in the centre. Challenged by Martin Odegaard. Didn't, didn't leave anything out of that tackle. As Virgil van Dijk now looks for a ball forward. Darwin Nunes, we know he's quick. As well, Ramsdale has hammered, hammered, hammered it, hammered it against uh, his defender. And somehow Arsenal get away with it. And they're now breaking. Goodness me. I think Gabriel it hit. I hope he's okay. Trent just about gets the ball back. Maybe we can start something again from these areas. Again, getting the ball in towards these forwards. There we go. Much better. Nunes finds Haaland. Too much space. You can't give him that. Oh, my word. The leg of Aaron Ramsdale. The left leg comes out and stops it. Deary me. We've got ourselves a corner. We know Van Dijk's at the front post this time. Andy Robertson to put it in there. It's not a very good delivery. It must be said. And Arsenal get it away. And we'll look to regroup. Of course, we've got to encourage at this stage, right? As uh, Arsenal, again, with a, with a goal kick. Play it out. The press from us is a little stronger now. And actually, do you know what? Bear that in mind, viewers. We are going to look to counter press now. Why wouldn't we? There's, a, there's half an hour to go. If we can apply a little bit more pressure, we've seen them panic now. And we've got to go for it. So upping our press levels, not the worst thing. Obviously, I'm a little bit worried about how much it leaves us exposed in the centre. But it's gambles we've got to start taking. Oh, you can see the press on Odegaard there already. Without having counter press on, they still do it a little bit. Of course, cause the counter press often comes... We've lost the ball, but you're pressing overall can be can be uh, can be can be set at the same time, and that's relatively higher than normal. Tommy Asu plays it inside. Virgil Van Dijk, brilliant defending from him. We'll certainly miss him next year. And now it's Haaland. And oh my God, he's been destroyed. Oh, Pentecure's gone through him. Half an hour to go. It's a red card. It's got to be surely. I mean, send him off. Do it. It's red. See ya. See ya. Basuma comes on. As they are down to 10 then. And obviously, it'll mean they'll be a lot more defensive, you would imagine. 
and we're already sort of taking the risk with expect to like, Harvey Elliott is not having a good game at all um, do you know what similar type of player and I, I quite like the idea of him being there Suso of all players is going to come on I think he'll have more of an impact than Gabriel Jesus that's the conclusion um 10 minutes left to go free kick alonso played in it's not very good but we know his passing is probably better than his crossing into virgil van dyke who is about 35 yards out suso now he's just come on tierney makes a last ditch tackle and, and I, do you know what? I don't really mind if arsenal try and come forward and commit some more players and mobile has got a lot to do there because obviously it'll leave more space in behind it'll bring their forward line up as well harlan's making some dangerous runs but it's darwin Nunes who's in and i think he's off oh dear it would level things. We're going to find out. We've, we've reeled away. The worrying thing is we didn't get the ball. And that makes me think he's probably just offside. It's disallowed. The second disallowed goal of the game. Darwin Nunes. We'll just see again then. We'll, uh, we'll zoom out a little bit so we can see it. He is offside. Just a yard. Doesn't need to do it either. Like he, he could have probably left himself a little shorter. A little bit more to do. We'll go slightly more positive. We'll go a little bit more direct. Again, I find balance to be excellent this year. I know... The, the, the other thing would be we'll obviously go more attacking four minutes to go we need two goals and arsenal are holding on i mean we'll, we'll just commit some players forward we don't really have much of a choice as it doesn't look good does it let's face it four minutes to go i thought there'd be more from us i've got to be honest i thought there'd be more from us at least we kind of know where we stand the league campaign is, is pretty much over and I don't know, lessons to be learned. We took over a team. We, we weren't able to do a huge amount to it. I think there are definitely things I've learned this year about the squad, about where I think we can take it, about what I want it to look like. I don't... I've not loved either formation this year, if I'm honest. I don't think either of them... Like the 4-3-3 the, the that we switched to and the 4 triple two that we sort of plugged in from our Milan days, right? What we learned at Milan. Could we do it here? Of course, we're using Haaland in that Norwegian system. I think there are other things that we could do that are far more interesting are far more exciting with this side a lot of it will depend on who we replace verge with that'll be that'll be a big part of it but i like the idea of having maybe two center backs another set sat in the middle and then those those full backs being all of our width and then creating something behind erling Haaland. some like so let me let me tell you what i'm thinking just to add to this a little bit right so i'm thinking either that where you play the three and have the wing backs be a real force but then you play something like this so you could have maybe some mazalas that, that type of idea, working wide areas with the protection of someone in behind and then having like a shadow striker and a, a Trequatista work. Maybe you'd have one sort of offset or in behind, behind Haaland, allowing him to still be the front man and, and making him more of the focus in the way that you play. I know that looks a bit bizarre. Like, a, like, a, like it looks a little bit like uh, a, a aeroplane, but I don't know. I'm just thinking about the players we've got and how we can make it work. And there are definitely possibilities here. The wide players... I don't feel like having enough of an impact is what I would say. And it sort of bears out that Mane's average rating this year hasn't been that good. Luis Diaz's hasn't been that good. Elliot, not that good. So maybe some changes have to come in. Anyway, we'll talk about it next time. Uh, the next time we'll do both matches. It's the Champions League semi-final against Bayern Munich. Just when you thought this season was over, there's still one more thing to do to face my former team and give them a, a bloody good go. Take care, everybody. See you soon. See you on Monday for some more. And uh, yeah, we're still, this season's not done yet, but Bayern. Ugh. <laughs>